Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Sheeran has advanced to the next level. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I wanted to do something a little bit different from what you're used to. You see, I wanted to experiment with other types of videos considering that I'm officially retiring from the error series for good. Forgive the uh, ongoing traffic, I live on a very busy street. In today's video I got this package here, as you can see it came from Target but it's in a Target packaging, but it's from eBay or um, I think Amazon, either Amazon or eBay. Well, here's the thing, I bought these three Hammond Collection figures and I think inside this box is one of the three. So I didn't really start collecting the Hammond Collection figures. I've collected the Mattel figures before, but never really the Hammond Collection ones because those are kind of like better quality and I, I guess I just wasn't really that interested in them, but now I kind of am, now that they've got cooler ones. So I ordered three of them online. I've ordered the T-Rex, Giganotosaurus, and Therizinosaurus, and I think inside this box is one of the three. Before I open this box, if you find yourself enjoying this video and want more unboxing videos, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But with that, let's open the box. All right, so here's the box. I'm just gonna open this up real quick. So I've got a pair of scissors so I can open this easier. I'm really excited for this. Let's see what it is. I just know it's from the Hammond collection. Bags, bags, and more bags. Well, I see the Jurassic World logo. Let's see what it is. Look at this. It's the Giganotosaurus figure. Actually, this is the one I wanted the most. I'm glad I got this figure. Let me set up the camera so we can get a closer look at this bad boy. So here it is. The Hammond Collection Giganotosaurus in all of its glory. In the packaging, it looks so cool. Dominion's very own Giganotosaurus. I can't believe it took six movies for this guy to make his first appearance but I'm happy he did. Even though he was kind of a downgrade from the Indominus and I kind of felt sorry for him at the end. You know, it's, it's just a cool creature. So let's see if we can get this guy out of the box. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. And here he is, the bad boy fully opened. My new Giganotosaurus figure. Honestly, this looks really cool. He looks way better than the Mattel figure. So let me let me just grab the Mattel figure real quick just to see a comparison between the two. All right, so here it is compared to the Mattel figure. And already this guy is actually a lot taller, which is pretty amazing. And yeah, this Hammond Collection one is definitely way better looking than the than the Mattel one, the original Mattel one. Mattel has really come a long way since they've been making figures. All right, let's get this guy out of here so we can look at this other guy in full detail. All right, so if we take a closer look at the Giganotosaurus, let's look at the head first. So this like fully opens up like this. Now, this little flap here kind of is flexible. There is one problem with that because it's like all real feel instead of like regular plastic. I'm just worried the jaw might break a little. The tongue moves, you know, and uh, and the, the arms are kind of poseable and whatever, or whatever. Yeah, the hand can turn, this part of the arm can turn, and yeah, I think this one's a little stuck. Or maybe it, it's, it can't turn, maybe, yeah. Okay, it can go up and it can go like this a little bit, but it's a little stiff. So, but that's that's not really an issue. Yeah, and then we got the legs, which are very posable, kind of, ish. Eh, not really, I mean, the legs are a bit stiff as well as the arms. And then if we look at the tail, the tail is probably the least stiff thing out here, so, and the tail's actually pretty long too. I'd say the tail's about like a foot and a half long or something like that, that's, that's pretty cool. And I love the, the detail they put into this. It looks very accurate to its movie counterpart. Don't know how I feel about the eyes though. I don't know if you can really see it. The eyes are kind of small and they're kind of like, 
I don't know, when they should have just went for the painted eyes, if, in my opinion. But, you know, it's a really cool figure, and uh, so this is the Hammond Collection Giganotosaurus, my first ever Hammond Collection figure. And honestly, it looks really cool. But yeah, I just wanted to do a quick, um, you know, unboxing video just to see if it really goes well. If you guys enjoy these and want more, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. Overall, this figure easily gets a 10 out of 10. Or maybe a 9.5 out of 10, because like I said, the legs and the arms are a bit stiff. But you know what? I really don't care. This this will probably just be for display and maybe occasionally films. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.